Okay, when you first wrote Airborne, did you always envision it as a series? No, I, when I wrote Airborne, my brain's only big enough to think of one book at a time, so uh, it was very much self-contained. Um, the idea was the, uh, the cabin boy story aboard this fabulous airship, and I knew there was going to be a shipwreck, uh, I knew there were going to be air pirates, and I knew at some point Matt would have to fly the ship, and that was pretty much all I knew going in. Um, but when I finished the book, um, and really enjoyed the characters of Matt and Kate, I could see that there was a lot more for them yet to do, and the world I'd created was, uh, I found quite enticing, and there seemed to be a lot more opportunities for adventure, so that was when I started thinking of a, of a second book, but I've always thought one book at a time, I've never thought sort of three books, seven books, twelve books, um, I always want to make sure that the story itself is a really good, strong beginning, middle, end, and then I, I go from there. So, what was the inspiration behind Matt Cruz? Well, the first thing with Airborne was uh, I wanted to set a story in the world of these big airships um, based on the real ships, mainly the Hindenburg that flew in the 1930s. Um, and so I wanted this sort of airborne world. Uh, so I had to think, well, who's going to be the who's going to be the main character? Who's going to tell this story? And uh, it seemed fairly natural to come up with the idea of a cabin boy. There was, in fact, a cabin boy on the Hindenburg who was about sort of 12, 13 years old. And I saw an archival photo of him, and I thought, now that would be a good person to tell the story. A kid who really works and maybe even lives in the air. And my story, uh, Matt uh, has worked aboard the ship for almost three years, you know, with shore leave occasionally, but he really does live in the air. Um, and that was that was the the key thing for me. I wanted this character who felt much more. 